At Rowan University, experiments with next-generation solar cells are helping to train a new crop of researchers. Using common, inexpensive materials, including fruit, they've made devices capable of producing electric power from sunlight. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. They extracted dyes from fruit and put them together with conductive glass, electrolytes, and semiconducting titanium dioxide, basically the same stuff that makes toothpaste white. And from the solar cells they made, they extracted a different kind of juice. What these dye-sensitized solar cells represent are a very inexpensive way to generate electricity from the sun, but their efficiency is much lower compared to the normal silicon cells that you'd see on your calculator or your roof. So what we're trying to do is increase their efficiency and make them more economical. These solar cell experiments were among around a hundred research projects that students completed this semester. We try to bring uh, research projects uh, into curriculum from the very early age. If you were to walk around this building, which you are welcome to do, you would see a lot of expensive equipment and all of that is being used by undergraduate students. To use such a variety, you actually see just what it molecule is, what it actually does, and how it actually is applied. I'd say that an experiment like this, um, it goes beyond what a typical uh, classroom lab would do, which would be just to illustrate the principle behind um, a basic concept. And instead, it really um, shows you that the work that you do here um, has, has some real life value, um, that it can be applied beyond just the laboratory setting and might actually help somebody's life. Some of the students are heading toward careers in developing energy technologies. Alternative energy is awesome, actually. There's still so much research going on. There's still so much that we can do. We can still so harness solar, wind. We can even harness ocean energy. Uh, there's still so much more to do. So I, I definitely think that there's an expanding field that has uh, job opportunities in it. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Glassboro.